In this video I'm going to be using the Everlast uh, STH 160 or 160 STH and a Lincoln Auto Darkening Hood. Remember always to wear your hood no matter what. This is not meant to be like a how-to or instructional video because I really don't know how to weld that good and this is more like just me learning. Okay so what we're going to do today or right now is try to weld these two pipes together. They're pretty thin. They're exhaust pipes. They were galvanized, I guess. That's what that is. I, I cleaned it off as best I could. I couldn't clean the whole thing, but I cleaned it back about half an inch or so. On something like this, I think gap is not your friend. So this is pretty much almost no gap. So I'm going to tack it in place real quick. I went out and got me some 16th inch 6011s or 6013s. These are tiny rods. No, that's a skinny, skinny rod. 20 to 45 amp AC or DC. We're going to start out with 25 amps. 25. Okay, that tack actually held pretty, yeah, it's actually kind of strong. I mean like for a tack, compared to what it did earlier. You see right there is actually trying to keyhole it already. So this is pretty touching. I really don't know how good of a job I can actually do, but it's actually stacked pretty straight. I'm just gonna give it a whirl. See the keyhole?
Keel's gone. Keel's not completely gone. It's right there. But I mean, now it's not that much bigger than the gap was to begin with, so I could fix that even. But I, I guess it. This will be alright. Surprisingly, it really was, it really is not that easy to keyhole it. I mean, it is, but using that little bitty rod at 35 amps, you could actually sit you could actually sit on it in one place for a good second or something, and, and it won't even, it wasn't keyholing it. Um, I know my methods are not really the, the best. Before you restart, you should probably knock the slag off and, and you know maybe uh, get to make you a good starting point. Um, this is just a test piece. This just proves that you can run a bead on um, this exhaust pipe thickness, which is, is kind of... Okay, this is 1 16th. Oh, the keyhole came back. Okay. It's actually pretty ugly. I, I, I kept moving side to side. I kept losing track of the actual crack. But, uh, uh you can't see the inside that well. Oh, you can see the keyholes. <laughs> you know, there was some little stretches like right here that actually started welding really nice. Kind of crooked. And, I mean, this just kind of proves it could be done if you just do what I did there instead of messing it up. Looks, it doesn't really look that good, really. But I'm learning. I'm learning. Earlier today, um, I did this one, this corner. The top welded okay. I got some porosity in here, like wormholes. Yeah, you can see the wormholes. I don't, really don't even know why it does that. I'm just, I'm just really learning. I'm not a professional by any means. I don't really know uh, that much about it. I'm just trying to learn. The best way to learn is to just do it. You know, I know, I know this is, you know, pretty crappy. You know, I know this wasn't, this didn't come out that well. But from what I've seen, I know it can be done because that that was actually going pretty good right there. Yeah, so this just kind of proves it can be done if you just have a little bit better technique and better positioning and, you know, better well, you know, be a better welder overall, I guess. So, yeah, that's, so, yeah, this is pretty much like my welding lesson for the day. I actually learned a lot. You can also say that I also learned how much I don't know. And, like, earlier whenever we were doing this, this corner, I was trying to weld it uphill and it had too big of a gap. And it's crazy because I was only running 80 amps and I actually keyholed quarter inch steel. Well, the gap was too big and, and I, I really didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even know if you were supposed to go uphill or downhill or I didn't, I didn't even know. I just gave it a whack. I had a buddy come over earlier today that's actually certified and um, he actually did this one, this weld, which 
in a way it's better, but he got wormholes too. <laughs> he kept blaming my rods and stuff. And, you know, he said he hasn't actually stick welded for, for a very long time. But he did the other side, the uphill, he did that one a lot better than me. Oh, yeah, one more thing I wanted to show too that whenever we welded this, somehow it became not flat. <laughs> uh, apparently, like, you're supposed to tack at three different points before you weld. Uh, I didn't even know that. Like, see, that, that's what I'm saying. All this stuff that I learned today, half of it from practical and half of it from, you know, somebody telling me about it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I think I need a few more practices before I do my exhaust on my truck. Also, it's going to be a lap joint, so I'll probably cut this in half and turn it into a lap joint by splitting it or something. Hmm. So yeah, welding class is over today.